Hello everyone, this is Sean back with another shaving video. Great to see you once again. And here I'm going to review the uh, Twin Blade Disposable Razors from Rexall. So here they are, a pair of disposable razors with twin blades in a single pack. So as you can see here on the packaging, it says a premium twin blade disposable razor with pivoting action, aloe lubricating strip and rubber grip handle for contoured closeness, comfort and control. And here is the presentation of the disposable razor itself, how it looks. And here's a close up of the head of the razor with the twin blades plus an aloe coated lubricated strip. And the pre shave oil that I will use will be that from the Art of Shaving, Bergamot and Neroli scented. And the shaving cream that I will use will be that from uh, Spike, the original scented cream. And the aftershave balm that I will use will be that from Spike with the original scent. And the shaving brush that I will use will be that from Yaki, which is synthetic. And I'll soak my brush in this uh, coffee mug with warm water. Okay, so let's get right into it here. This will be a three pass shave. I'm um, just uh, rinsing my uh, face off with warm water. There we go. And uh, just uh, prep the face with the, the pre-shave oil. Just get it all around my cheeks. Uh, make sure um, it goes all the way into my pores. And there we go. And um, just lathering up my uh, brush with the shaving cream and just prepping the face. Just uh, applying all that cream onto it with the shaving brush. Um, normally, uh, these uh, kinds of razors are um, meant to uh, be shaved with the um, typical uh, shaving foams that you would find in a drugstore. So here we go. Uh, first pass with the grain. Um, so far, so good. The uh, blade seems to be uh, doing its magic. Just um, cutting off all that uh, accumulated uh, facial growth. Um, I've accumulated uh, four days worth of um, shaving, I mean whiskers rather, and um, I've, off, I've now beginning to uh, be called uh, peppery face because uh, I'm now a middle-aged man and it looks as if um, the whiskers that are uh, appearing on my face, uh, some of them appear gray, so uh, hence the uh, nickname uh, Peppery. <laughs> and um, yeah, there we go, just uh, rinsing off my face, uh, preparing for the second pass, uh, just uh, lathering up once again, making sure um, my face uh, gets uh, the adequate protection it needs against uh, skin irritation. Um, now, um, I find that uh, this uh, set of uh, shaving uh, supplies is uh, providing extra comfort for my face. However, I do need to um, rinse the uh, blade off uh, just a little more often as I would uh, compared to using a traditional double-edged safety razor. And um, this um, brand, Rexall, it's uh, based in Canada. And I don't uh, go there very often myself, although um, they do have uh, post offices in uh, certain shops, and which uh, I'll occasionally go to uh, pick up uh, parcels and uh, special letters. And um, yeah, I've never had any uh, real negative experience with them at all. And uh, yeah, so just prepping uh, my uh, face for the third and final pass, and um, which I'll go against the grain. And um, yeah, I always like to uh, have uh, baby smooth skin, 
just so I look um, more professional and attractive. And I was just squeezing out all the uh, extra bit of uh, shaving cream there out of the brush. And now we go against the grain. Um, yeah, it's uh, going to provide uh, comfort and uh, my face is going to look uh, very uh, nice and smooth and uh, it'll look very handsome. And um, yeah, it's using a, a disposable razor, it feels as if it's more slippery. Uh, the uh, shaving cream, I think, it may be a little too, uh, maybe a, too, a little too slick for um, these uh, kinds of uh, razors to work with. Uh, but um, yeah, not a uh, horrible experience overall. I'm just uh, finishing up here, uh, going through uh, those tricky spots. Um, I notice I have a few minor cuts on my face. I'll have to uh, rinse it off later. Uh, so there we go, just doing a final cleanup pass. And, yep, and just going to rinse off my face one last time before uh, applying the aftershave balm. Uh, just rinsing my face with cold water. Uh, just uh, trying to close up those pores there. Yep, nice big smile for everybody. <laughs> and there we go, the uh, Spike Aftershave Balm. And a final touch. And yes, there we go. Presto. Okay, so overall not a bad shave. Um, I was able to get a, a very close shave uh, with the uh, pre-shave oil that I used to provide a, a layer of uh, cushioning for uh, the contours of my face. And uh, the Spike uh, shaving cream uh, provided uh, additional comfort for uh, the glide of the razor. However, um, these um, kinds of razors are not uh, particularly designed for uh, shaving creams that are uh, formulated for uh, traditional wet shaving uh, with the uh, double-edged safety razors and uh, the blades that uh, accompany them. But um, I will uh, give this uh, twin blade credit for doing the job. I think uh, these kinds of uh, disposable razors were uh, meant only for uh, shaving foam in mind, the kinds that you could uh, that you can buy in uh, grocery stores and uh, pharmacies. Um, I did uh, notice a lot of uh, clogging in uh, the razor while I was shaving, and I was requ required to uh, frequently rinse this thoroughly in between. Um, more often than I would uh, with a uh, traditional double-edged safety razor. Um, although um, it did the job of uh, providing uh, a close, comfortable shave for my face, um, I know I can be uh, pretty biased, uh, as you can uh, tell if you watch uh, all of my uh, shaving videos, that uh, double-edged safety razors uh, they just do not uh, provide uh, the superior closeness of uh, a shave that uh, a distinguished gentleman deserves. And so, um, yeah, um, overall, I would give this razor maybe a 7 out of 10. Um, the uh, lubrication strip... Um, did uh, provide a extra comfort towards uh, the layers of my skin. And um, yeah, I'm uh, actually a little bit surprised at uh, how well this uh, razor uh, performed, uh, considering that um, it's uh, just a drugstore brand uh, disposable razor. Uh, I read uh, on the packaging that these uh, are uh, manufactured in the United States but assembled in Mexico, and they're brought all, all the way up here to Canada. 
Um, yeah, it's not terrible, but um, like I would advise uh, for anybody who uh, has to shave while they're traveling, uh, these would be ideal for it. Um, yeah, so that's uh, what I have to say in regards to that. And uh, just in case of uh, you're not from Canada, Rexall is a, a drugstore brand here in this country. And uh, I can provide you with the uh, link to uh, the chain if uh, you want to do a little more research into uh, the company and uh, the products that they sell. Uh, basic, basically, they um, provide uh, pharmaceutical drugs. Um, they uh, offer postal service, um, snacks, um, body care, and uh, of course, uh, disposable razors and uh, shaving cream. So um, just to uh, recap, I'll... Uh, Go over the uh, items that were used for this video. Of course, uh, the main attraction, the uh, Rexall Twin Blade Disposable Razor with uh, a lubricating strip. And uh, for today's uh, shaving cream, got uh, the Spike um, Original Shaving Cream. Uh, Spike, of course, uh, being a, a German brand featuring the Spike uh, ingredient, which is grown uh, a plant grown in Austria. And for the pre shave, the art of shaving, uh, pre shave oil, uh, bergamot and uh, neroli scented. And um, the aftershave which is the uh, Spike Original Aftershave Balm. And of course, uh, the shaving brush is this uh, Yaki. So um, I want to thank you for uh, watching this video. Please uh, like, comment, and uh, subscribe to my channel. My name is Sean, and uh, I'll close by saying peace, much love, namaste, um, stay safe where, or wherever you are in the world, um, be nice and friendly to everyone, and um, yes, Godspeed, take care.